Hi guys, it's Mrs. Clutch again, and today we are going to be going over volume of a sphere. Um, and a sphere is anything that's kind of like the shape of a ball is normally what we're dealing with when we talk about volume of a sphere. Again, just like we did with a cone and with a cylinder, you're going to be looking at the formula um, and then using that formula to either find the volume or find one of the dimensions. Usually it's going to be the radius because that's the only thing we don't. We either have the volume or we have the radius. And that's how we are going to find um, whatever it is that they are actually looking for. So I'm going to share with you my screen so that we can look at um, these practice problems. I'm going to actually start with number three only because, and I'm gonna show you a little bit of what I'm doing with my calculator as well. So only starting with number three, because number three is asking for the volume, and then we're gonna go back to number one. So to find the, the formula for volume of a sphere is, I'm gonna to try to write, draw this just because. So the volume is equals, is four thirds, Pi R cubed. So again, you got to make sure that's one. That's a that's a very common mistake is actually accidentally doing four thirds pi R squared. So we do want to make sure it's cubed. Think about it as um, if you're looking at the sphere, you have the radius. So you're in the center of that sphere. You have your um, width, length, and height. Kind of think about it like that. And they're all gonna be the radius from the center and that should maybe get you to remember that it is going to be then R cubed. So here we have, we have the volume of a baseball. So we know that the radius right here is 36.6. So I'm gonna put 36.6 in for R. So I'm gonna actually try to do this instead as a text box. I'm just gonna do it up here. So volume equals four, thir four thirds. I'm going to write this as 3.14. And I'm going to write that as times 36.6. Remember that carrot? That's going to come back um, when we're working on the calculator. So if you look at your calculator and you want to do 36.6 cubed. So if you type in 36.6, and let's see if I can get this up here. This button right here is the carrot. So if you hit that button, you don't need to hit second or anything, it should just show up. Um, hit that carrot and then third, that's doing 36.6 to the third and hit enter. So then we have that volume, volume equals four thirds times 3.14. And the, we're clearly gonna be getting large numbers, four, nine, zero, two, seven, point eight, nine. Now, I'm going to take that number and I'm going to multiply by 3.14. And I get a number that is 153,947.5 um, I'm going to leave it at that. Now, I want to take this and I want to multiply it by 4 thirds. Remember, 4 thirds is not 1.3. It's 1.3 repeating. So the best thing that you can do here is you can multiply it. So times, I'm going to do parentheses. And I'm going to do four divided by three because that's actually going to give you the four thirds. It's not going to be giving you an estimate of the four thirds. So I'm going to hit equals again, have a large number here. So volume, whoops, volume equals, then we have two, zero, five, two, six, three. And this is going to be millimeters. And again, I'm just going to do the carrot for cubed, millimeters cubed. So that is the, this is the formula here for the volume of a sphere. Now, sometimes they're going to be asking you instead of finding what the volume is, sometimes they're going to give you the volume and you're going to need to find the radius. Because as you can see, the radius is the only other thing we don't know. We know four thirds, we know what pi is equal to. So the only two possibilities we have for substitution are volume or radius. So now we're gonna go back to number one. I'm gonna leave that here, just get rid of that. 
I'm gonna leave that there just so we have the um, formula up. And actually, I wanna scoot this down a little bit. No, oh, maybe I'll redo the formula. Just because it's hard to see where the words. Okay. I'm gonna make my text box down here. So we have volume equals four thirds times three point one four times radius to the third. So now they're giving us what the volume is. So when they give us what the volume is, we're gonna substitute in that 1,203.6499 cubic inches for my volume. And that equals, again, four thirds, I don't really need that, I'm gonna take that out. Four thirds times 3.14 R to the third. So I'm gonna do 3.14 times four thirds, again, doing 3.14 times parentheses four divided by three. That's again, giving me the actual. Now, when I do that, I'm getting a number that's clearly, it, it's fairly long, it's repeating. So I, I'm gonna round this to 4.19 times R to the third. Okay, now I'm gonna divide both sides by 4.9. So I have R, um, by itself. So again, or R, I should say R cubed by itself. So, well, 1,203.9 divided by 4.19 equals. So now I have 287 point, um, I'm going to say 27. I'm going to round that. It, it ends up extending quite some ways equals R to the third. Well, before, when we were trying to find when it was R squared, all we needed to do was take the square root. Well, now we need the cubed root. So I'm gonna show you on your calculator again, how you're gonna find the cubed root. You're gonna type in a three to start with, and that's just gonna say that's the cubed. I'm gonna quick draw over here what it looks like if you were to write it. So if I were to write it out, it would be cute. I would do a little three that's way bigger than a little I know. And this means, I want the cubed root of r to the third. Well, I don't want r to the third. I know that that's just gonna be r. So instead, I'm gonna put my 287 and 27 hundredths here. So I want the cubed root of that. So I have to put the three first because that's telling me I want the cubed root. Then, just like what we did on the last one where we looked at the carrot, but now we want the yellow above the carrot or the white or whatever color it is on your calculator. So I wanna hit the second button and then hit that. So now I should have something that looks like this. You'll see a little X and then the um, uh, square root sign. Then inside there, I'm gonna type my 287 and 27 hundredths. And I end up getting, and I'll run right over here. This is going off the page. So I end up getting R is equal to about, it's 6.59827031. So I'm going to make that 6.6 rounded to the nearest hundredth, even though I know you're saying, well, Mrs. Clutch, this is only going to the tenth because it would be 6.60. So this is technically still rounding to the hundredth, even though I only have shown where the tenth is. And again, we want it, it says cubic inches, but this is just gonna be, the radius is just gonna be in inches, not cubic inches, because I'm only looking at what the radius is, and that is a one-dimensional measurement. Okay, there are gonna be two problems like this on your homework, um, the worksheet, so good luck, and if you have any questions, please let one of your math teachers know. Have a great day.